Welcome back. I'm Rick Sanchez. At the very top of our follow-up list today, the Maxine Waters investigation. Waters is under investigation by the OCE, the Office of Congressional Ethics. She uh, talked to our own Roland Martin on the radio yesterday, and uh, we were flabbergasted by what some of what she said. Roland asked her some very direct questions, if African-American leaders are being investigated more than others. Not only did she answer that, she lays the blame for her investigation onto someone from the previous administration, the Bush administration. I want to play some of this for you. Ready? This is part of the interview where she talks about Karl Rove's team. Uh, roll it, D. When you take a look at this, we do know that at the time that I went to the meeting, this was the Bush White House. And I do know that there was someone in the meeting that I'm being told about, Jeb Mason, who was a mentee of Karl Rove. I think he's the one that started all of this, maybe. And then, of course, as we go into the OCE, that's the initial body that hears this stuff, we find that there are two Democrats and there are two Republicans. Uh, one of the Republican who was kind of in the leadership on the Republican side is a representative called Conaway out of Texas, who was the, uh, I think, CFO of uh, Bush Sr.'s uh, oil company. And so he just really dislikes me. I mean, he, he just glared the whole time. I mean, it's just one of those really, really conservative guys who can't stand this liberal kind of woman from California. One of those really, really conservative guys that can't stand this liberal kind of woman from California. It's an interesting quote. Here's Roland Martin, the guy who got the scoop on that story for us. Always great to see you, Roland. I want to I want to bring in, and as Glad I do, I want, listen, I want to share with you what we found out. Uh, this mentee of Karl Rove is a guy named Jeb Mason. Uh, that's who she was referring to. He's now with a policy-oriented firm that's called Cypress Group. My team made several phone mm -hmm. calls to Mr. Mason's office over the last couple of days. His office was finally able to locate him today, and he says he has no comment to us about Waters' allegations. We also reached out to Representative Mike Conaway, who she also referred to. Uh, his press mm -hmm. secretary told us that Conaway doesn't remember saying anything that would make uh, Waters uh, think that. So where are we here? Uh, were you surprised when she started making those accusations about the previous administration? Well, well, for, first of all, to set this whole thing up, obviously she was formally charged by the ethics committee uh, with three violations on Monday. Uh, that was, uh, and so this was her first response to those particular charges. And so we began to ask her in terms of, you know, what is the basis of it uh, in terms of wh where did this actually go forward uh, in terms of the allegation being made that she used her office uh, to benefit uh, a Boston bank where her husband used to sit on the board of directors yeah. where he also held stock. And so that was the basis uh, of this whole uh, ethics complaint. I'm just wondering, um, you know, she could make the argument, look, guys do this all the time. Why are they always going after us? And she makes the comment. Uh, let me see if we have it here. She, I think she makes the comment that they're more, off, they're more apt to go after an African-American than they are a non-African-American. Do we have that soundbite? Go ahead and roll the next one, D, if you got it. I want to talk. To, I want to listen, sure. uh, roll in and the folks at home to listen to it. But what we do know is we don't know where it's coming from. And we do know that of all the information or, or claims or accusations brought to them, it seems that African-Americans are the only ones who they move uh, further with investigation on. Well, we, we did a little now bit. Here's, now go, here's go ahead. Go ahead, Roland. No, here's the basis for that. Uh, the Congressional Black Caucus has been highly critical of the OCE, an office that was actually created by Democrats uh, when Nancy Pelosi became Speaker based upon the corruption in the previous Congress in 2006, largely by Republicans. Mm -hmm. And so the names are leaked out there. And of those folks under investigation, there have been eight or nine African-American members of Congress. Politico and other news organizations have done stories about this and about the CBC's complaint. Their, their problem is that anybody can make any allegation that kickstarts an investigation and you never know really where the, allega where the allegation actually came from. Hmm. And so the CBC has been highly critical of this, saying that, wait a minute, how is it that eight or nine of our members, uh, their names get leaked out there, they're revealed when this is supposed to be a private uh, situation and you're well, not supposed to be leaking any kind of information. That was the basis of it. We, we did a little digging as our, our, ourselves. Robert, are you over my shoulder? I want to, right. Is it better if I put it down like that? Can you see it better that way? Okay, here we go. Here's what we found out. Office of Congressional Ethics. We checked into disclosures all the way back to January of 09. We got John Murtha, mm -hmm. Pete Stark, Nathan Deal, Norm Dick, C.W. Bill Young, Jim Moran, 
Carsey Capcher, uh, Pete uh, Visklowski, and Todd Tiot. Okay, these are all non-African Americans. Nine, see right. right there, nine. And here's the ones who are African Americans since that same time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wrangle, Waters, Thompson, Cheeks, Kilpatrick, Payne, and Donna Christensen. So it's nine non-African Americans, six African Americans. When you throw in the fact that there right. are so many more non-African Americans than African Americans in Congress, that does seem like a little bit of a disparity, does it not? Well, what she, what she also said was she also made the point in terms of taking it this far. And so you have Rangel's case uh, that has gone this far. You have her case mm -hmm. that has gone this far. Uh, the, the Justice Department asked this committee to hold off their investigation of Congressman Jesse Jackson, Jr. Uh, for the allegations uh, raised uh, in Illinois. Uh, and so I think that's really what her point is. Did any of those other cases go yeah. to this extent to where charges were filed and you have an actual trial coming up? And so that's the complaint that the, the uh, congressional Black Caucus. Uh, they've actually made uh, Barbara Lee is a chairwoman, and, and they've had some tough words uh, as it relates to the OCE. Roland Martin, as usual, digging up good interviews, asking good questions. My colleague, I appreciate that. Uh, we appreciate Thanks you doing so that for us. Good stuff. We'll look forward I to seeing you it. the next time.